after 30 60 90 let's move on to the next triangle which is our right angle triangle okay so is a right angle triangle angle 90 at b okay so angle b is equals to 90 degree in abc bd is an altitude to ac now remember what is an altitude altitude is just a perpendicular drawn on to the opposite side nothing else it's just a plain perpendicular which is drawn on to the opposite side it's not a perpendicular bisector okay it's just a perpendicular then what will happen ab square ab square which means one side square ab square will be equal to what ad ad means a part of it and a complete ac so ab square is equals to ad just a part and a full part which is ac ad into ac okay similarly what else will happen bc square bc means one more side bc square will be equal to cd into ac so bc square one one side square is equals to part of the hypotenuse which is cd and the full hypotenuse which is ac okay then you will have pd square which is altitude square is equals to ad into cd okay remember this three result you will ask me how did you derive this three result by similarity okay so no need for proof just remember the result okay this three results are very important because they will just give you the value and ask you the questions also remember for right angle triangle what are triplets what are triplets so if one of the side is 3 which is the smallest odd number divide square 3 is 9 Divide nine by two, four point five. Take a smaller integer four, take a bigger integer five. That's it. Three, four, five will be the three sides of a triangle. No need to use Pythagoras theorem all the time. Use a triplet concept. Similarly, let's take one more smallest odd number, say five. Five square is twenty-five. Twenty-five divided by two, twelve point five. Lesser integer twelve, greater integer thirteen. So five, twelve, thirteen are your Pythagoras triplet. One more odd integer. You always start with the smallest odd integer. Seven square forty-nine. Forty-nine divided by two, twenty-four point five. Twenty-four and twenty-five. Okay, this largest side, five, thirteen, twenty-five will always obviously be your hypotenuse. See the first three, four, five. If I multiply it by two, it becomes six, eight, ten. The same triplets you will get it many times. So don't use Pythagoras theorem all the time. Go for the logic of triplets. Start with the smallest odd number square divided by two, lesser integer and a smaller integer. You can multiply the same by two and three and get multiple triplets as you like. Let's take one more concept: circumcircle. As we know, drawn outside, touching the three vertices. Now, something that is in white is very important. This is called as median, and you will see a lot of median when we enter into equilateral at the end. This is a median. What is a median? The median just bisects. That's it. It just bisects the opposite side. What is an altitude? Perpendicular. Only a plane perpendicular to the opposite side. Whereas the median bisects, which means it will divide. the opposite side into two equal parts okay that is that is what is your median so median is drawn that will always be your circum radius so if a circum circle is drawn that will be a circum radius and that circum radius will always be equal to the two part that are being divided so r is equals to ao is equals to co okay that is one result that you have to remember it here if you draw a median in a right angle triangle circum radius is nothing but median to the hypotenuse yes which is bo the white line and that will be also equal to what half of the hypotenuse okay and hypotenuse is ac what is half of ac that is nothing but ao okay that is the result that you have to remember in circle if i draw a circle that is inside inside the triangle Touching the three sides, that will be my in circle. What will be the in radius then? In this case, in radius for a right angle triangle. Let one side be A, other side be B, and others one more side be C. Then what will you have it here? Circum radius is B plus A. That is non hypotenuse sides. Okay, wrongly I had written the hypotenuse to be A. Correct it. It's B plus A non hypotenuse side minus C. C is the hypotenuse divided by two. Okay, B plus A non hypotenuse C hypotenuse divided by two. So now we know what are the results that we can get with a right angle triangle. Let's apply everything we have learned. Now triangle ABC is given to me as a right angle triangle angle at A. So I know angle A is equals to 90 degree. Then what? AD is altitude. If it's an altitude, it's just a perpendicular. I know that. AD is an altitude to BC. Now remember the properties of altitude that we have seen. AB is given to be 8. AC is given to be 15. I know that. BC. Find out BC. So if two sides are given, I know how to find out the third side. Pythagoras theorem and the altitude AD. Okay. So how will I start with this? First, I'll start by finding BC because I know one side is eight, other side is fifteen. 
I am being asked the hypotenuse because the angle A is equals to 90 degrees. So BC square is equals to AB square plus AC square. 8 square plus 15 square is nothing but 64 plus 225. If I add both of them, 289. BC is equals to square root of 289 which is nothing but 17. 17 square is 289. So I know the first part of the question is very clear. Even without knowing any properties, I know BC is equals to 17. Now he is asking me what is altitude AD. Now he is asking me what is altitude AD. So how will I go ahead and, and find this? Area of triangle ABC is nothing but half into base into height, right? Base is 8 and the height is what? 15 if you can see. Angle A is 90, right? So half into 8 into 15. That is area of triangle ABC. But I can also write that half into base. I can take BC as a base. BC as a base and AD is nothing but a perpendicular and in geometry perpendicular is always your height. Whenever I ask you for an height, height will always be perpendicular. Okay, so half into BC into AD. So the area could be written in two format. One in the left, one in the right. BC is nothing but 17 which I had already found out. right? I know BC is 17. That's it. Now I can find out what is AD. So AD is equals to what then? AD is left at 8 into 15 divided by 17. Okay, now what is 8 into 15 which is 120 divided by 17. So I know. The next part of the question as well now that is AD is equal to 120 by 70. Now let's see the next part. If M is a midpoint of BC, find AM. If M is a midpoint, what is this white then in? What do we draw in white then? Median, right? I am saying M is a midpoint here and median always bisects. What do we learn from this? The circumradius is always the median and it bisects the hypotenuse. Okay, and half of the hypotenuse is nothing but your what? Half of the hypotenuse is circumradius, which is nothing but median, right? We learned already this concept. Let's apply this here. I know what is the hypotenuse here? What is the hypotenuse BC, right? I know BC is the hypotenuse. BC is the hypotenuse as AM. AM is nothing but the median error. AM will be equal to half of BC. We have learned this, right? AM will be equal to MC will be equal to MB. Okay, and all of them will be equal. So AM is equal to nothing but half of hypotenuse BC. We already know this. So AM is half of what? 17. So half of 17 is nothing but 8.5. So just applying the property of circumradius. Okay, median will be equal to half of hypotenuse. That's how I apply the property of right angle triangle.